What's up, weirdo? Shade Tree Surgeon here, here in the Dirty Shame parking lot. Once again, in possession of the mail order glide with a fresh battery in it. Today, I'm meeting what is apparently my biggest fan. So, I've got one Blissful Ellie. If you guys have been following my Instagram, you know that uh, I recently uh, got to know Blissful Ellie when she posted a picture in one of my Brap Star shirts and said, I'm your biggest fan. And I said, prove it. And she said, check this out. I'm about six foot ten in heels, six five without them. But, uh, you know, who's counting a few inches here? There. So let me tell you, you don't learn something like uh, you have a fan of your channel who's about six foot five. You don't learn that information and not do something about it. And by do something about it, I mean immediately invite her down to Tampa to go on her very first motorcycle ride. You know, they say old Shade Tree Surgeons told some tall tales in his day, and this might be the tallest one I've ever, ever told because it's six five. You know, I don't want to feel inadequate here. Everyone always says, uh, they always say, I thought you'd be taller. And I'm just like, how tall do you want? to be so you know when I got Ellie to come down here I might have stretched the truth by a few inches and what's a few inches between friends uh, I might have said I'm actually 5 12 and a half but I might have said that I'm 6 3 because I'm just like two inches I can wear heels and she goes that's cool uh, you know it, it is just sometimes it's a little hard with the guys that are shorter than me and uh, so anyway I'm hoping my winning personality can uh, make up for three inches of difference right any girls watching right now can a good personality make up for three inches a few inches later well, well, well. Welcome to Tampa, baby. Uh. <laughs> six three. Um. Well, I mean, six. Uh, um. I don't, hey, here's the thing. I've got a great personality. I, I don't know if I've got three inches of personality, but uh, anyway, um, aren't you happy to be here? I'm very excited <laughs> to be here. Um, even though not quite the 6'3 as advertised. Listen up, baby. 5'12 okay. and a half, dude. I've never heard of anybody who said that a few inches wouldn't make any difference at all. Come on, baby. Down here in Florida, we measure from butt to tip, okay? <laughs> we do it a little bit different. That's where I got the extra three inches from. Don't you worry, baby. <laughs> If you think I'm short, not only am I short, I'm also ugly and I smell bad. <laughs> anyway, let's do something dangerous. All right, baby. Got you suited up, got you trapped. <laughs> you know what I really love about this is um, you've got armrests and now I have armrests too. <laughs> so yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now, the way you get on that motorcycle is really something special. I'm gonna make everybody look at you do it again. <laughs> Because I was just like, <laughs> you you really got to see it to believe it, baby. And let me tell you, Graceful is a swan twice as pretty. Oh, my God. Look at her go. A swan amongst ducks. Your beauty cuts like a knife, like a blade, baby. And just call me hot butter, all right? Hey, this is Ellie. This is Richard. He's like my dad. Friend, mentor, all ro rolled up into one. You got a good seat back there. Nice. Not a whole lot of bikes can be this comfortable for somebody who's 6'5". Dang, I don't know, Ellie. Things are moving fast. You already met my dad. Right, well, we're going to take it easy on old blissful Ellie back there. She's already got to deal with the crushing disappointment of me being only 5'12 and a half instead of the advertised 6'3". All right. Aboard. Oh, wow. You do that really easily. <laughs> All right. Here we go. First time on a bike. Of course, it is a gold wing. So it's not so good. Oh, this one the Mormon glide. We got enough space for Jesus here. I'm feeling, I don't want to freak out. I already stop smiling. Are you smiling? Yeah. Happy or nervous? Yes. I'm really gonna like this. <laughs> it's bad because you love it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Knew it, baby. Knew it. <laughs> Had a all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, those three inches don't make that much of a difference once <laughs> the motorcycles are involved. All right. I know what I'm working with. Even about the three inches might get them in the door. But I'll tell you this right now: the motorcycle keeps them there. Okay. 
Margaret, I can feel Ellie holding on to the back of my vest back there. I can hear her smile. I can, I swear, I can hear her smiling. <laughs> oh, you know you're doing all right when you hear them squeal back there. And I'm not even going fast. I'm not being dangerous. Just a big bump. I wouldn't be dangerous, not with the one and only blissful Ellie on the back of my motorcycle. We got precious cargo back there, okay? I'm 5'12 and a half. You're 5'17. Yeah. It works out perfectly. We'll take Ellie on a, a little trip. Oh, I mean... So don't worry, that's normal. Uh, we'll take it easy on her with a little, a little jaunt down Seventh Avenue. Like I said, she's already, she's already dealing with a lot right now, you know. And most people, when they say, uh, "I thought you'd be taller," I don't know if they were imagining they thought I'd be four inches taller, but I did, I did trick this, I did trick her down here somehow, okay? Beep, beep, special delivery. Toodle melodiously. Very first time on a motorcycle. That's freaking all right, dude. Very first time on a motorcycle. An old shade tree surgeon is the one who gets to go ahead and steal that motorcycle virginity. Yeah, that's something I almost never kick out of bed. So it's definitely Ellie's very first day riding a motorcycle. Uh, that, it, um, that is true. This is literally her very first time on a motorcycle. Uh, we just met and we're going to break her in right. We ain't just going to go on a little motorcycle ride around the block. We're going to a group ride. We're going to Burt's Harley Davidson. We're going to a comedy club. We're going bar hopping, baby. This ain't just a first ride, Ellie. Blissful Ellie, you are going to get the full Monty, baby, all right? You're getting all that and a bag of chips. This isn't just your first ride on a motorcycle. This is your first motorcycle experience. So I hope you got all your shots back there, girl, because let me tell you, the way we do it in Florida is a little bit dirty. One of the really cool things about this being your very first motorcycle ride is you don't even know that this motorcycle isn't cool <laughs> this is a dad bike oh no busted busted by my own channel she did say she was my biggest fan so she goes like i already know this bike isn't cool i've been watching <laughs> damn no it doesn't just scream raw power and sexuality <laughs> it's screaming something this bike's so beat up and old it's more like it's screaming put me out of my freaking misery we're going you snooze you lose motherfucker hey thanks for waiting on us mike i appreciate it dude at least you know at the very least at least it's not 95 degrees and 100 percent humidity out here <laughs> Go ahead and extricate yourself. You know, you make it look easy. It is easy. <laughs> We're introducing Ellie to the many, many joys, like I said, the entire motorcycle experience, not just a ride around the block, as in it's about 110% uh, humidity here in Florida right now, and everybody is currently melting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Including these guys that we just made wait outside for us. Well, Jack looks like he's in his element. <laughs> you really gonna ride that thing on the highway? Fuck yeah. I love it. You know, I would be I would be like, what are you thinking? I like the I like the way you think, bud. Why have it if you ain't gonna ride it? You only live once, you might as well get it the fuck over with. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's even got gas in it. Excellent. We got my man Costome, Mr. the diplomat back there with the fresh kicks, blasting some Kanye. Mike Branch rides on the dad glide, keep me company. Shay Lisi over here on the Willem Dafoe's the Green Goblin, and Jack on the death trap. Hey, you're not on the most dangerous motorcycle here. Congratulations. Just the second most dangerous. All right, so you're going from your very first time riding your motorcycle to your very first group ride. It's, a lot has been happening today. It's okay. All right. Headed out, baby. Blissful Ellie on the back. All six foot five of her. Size tens, baby. I thought it was only a myth. I've been obsessed with all these size nines. And then a size 10 comes stomping into my life. And I've been born again. Hey, it ain't a whole motorcycle experience unless you do a group ride and head out to Burt's Barracuda and experience a biker bar. So we're going to head out there. We told a bunch of people we're heading up there. I don't know how many people are going to show up. I never know when I put that out there. But we've been talking about doing this for a while so hopefully there's some folks out keeping an eye on old jack back there bringing up the rear on that chopper so far so good he's got it at 70 mile an hour with that springer front end but <laughs> hey man i love it okay i love the sketchiness why the hell not i have got to only imagine what blissful ellie on the back of this clapped out goldwing the mail order glide can only imagine what she must be thinking right now her life has been completely turned upside down she went from being 
<laughs> a really pretty girl online who wore one of my t-shirts to a few weeks later she's on the back of some clapped out piece of crap motorcycle with an insane florida swamp wizard dirty hobo swamp wizard at the helm riding across a bridge in 100 percent humidity in the middle of florida her her life has taken a turn for the bizarre and i like it like our license plate the one and only hell yeah Oh, the one and only, and it says beautiful mess. That's nice. I'm just a mess. I wonder what it's like to be a beautiful mess. <laughs> Shay goes, what smells like burning? Well, that's definitely Jack, Jack's Triumph Chopper back there. This is, a, this is a weird group of motorcycles right now. <laughs> well, that's pretty much par for the course when you're riding out with us. <laughs> That's about where Jack stops. <laughs> that was a little bit of a moment there, brother. <laughs> Next time I'll run it. <laughs> I knew you could do it. <laughs> oh, sketchy as fuck. I love it. Oh, Mr. T's employee of the month. My man. All right, let's see what Bert's got cooking for us. Oh, I see no moving parts here already. I recognize a couple other bikes too. Dig. I always like when I roll up the Bert's and I already see some of my friend's bikes here. All right, I release you. <laughs> you don't actually get off it. You just like swing your legs over and stand up. <laughs> that was sketchy, Jack. I'm sorry, dude. You freaking handled it fine though. Was it always blowing smoke out the exhaust? Or is that new? You know, every once in a while, you bully your friends into redesigning their logo because their old one was so freaking bad. And I finally got Mike Branch to change this terrible fucking logo. And it's th not this one. This is the new one. That's the old one. Shaylee, said the old one wasn't that bad, but I thought it was terrible and I told him so. This one's a lot better. So he gave me his new logo. I was like, wow, that's awesome, man. Thanks for redesigning it. I can't wait to throw this in the trash. <laughs> I, I, I thought I was just going to throw this sticker away, but I'm being strong-armed right now. Right here, baby. That's exactly where it goes. I can't think of a better place. You guys have seen the new redesign. So he's already got the old Mike Branch ride Dude, sticker on there. I have so there. many different Mike Branch stickers on this right now. There's another one over here. <laughs> Woo! Slap it, baby. <laughs> I've seen people ride motorcycles inside. Hey, Beth! What's up? Hard Dixon spaceship, baby. <laughs> Riding motorcycles inside is like seeing a dog walk on its hind legs. Hey, look who's walking. Look who's walking, baby. Hey, we'll be riding soon. Sorry, I just like freaking chin checked you with my freaking shoulder. Mm, my gosh, blissful Ellie on my motorcycle. <sighs> oh baby luckiest man on earth are you kidding me it's like winning the lottery okay, you're gonna wait on my school, don't worry mike we won't wait for you oh yeah i forgot about this <laughs> one of us is riding with a handicap all right it's always the last kick here oh you got a fresh leg give it a go give it a go baby Like we say, last kick every time. Later, Casey. On the road. I never doubted it. Come on. It's a triumph, baby. 167 business kicks. Par for the course, baby. Always starts in the last try, especially when there's cameras rolling. That was the problem is I should have turned my GoPro off because when there's cameras going or there's a pretty girl watching, let me tell you what, man. It's going to take a few more kicks. Heading out from Burks made a clean getaway. Uh, although, I don't know how clean the getaway was for Jack. On our way to Side Splitters right now to see Natalie Cuomo perform live. I've been promoting this event. I hope to see some of you guys out there. Natalie Cuomo is not only hilarious and a stand-up comedian, but also a rider. You know what? We like to show our support, man. We got to stick together as bikers. And uh, it doesn't hurt that, you know, Natalie Cuomo is uh, not only hilarious, but also, yeah, 
kind of easy on the eyes. You know, I had like three different people come up to me after they walked by my motorcycle and say, God damn, dude, I thought you, I thought you had a, a sexual aid, a battery powered one there hanging off the cup holder of your bike. And I got, nah, baby, that's just a hairbrush. If you want to find those things, you're going to have to dig a little deeper. We lost Jack. Oh, I hope Jack's all right, man. I assume he's, uh, uh, unfortunately broke down. Let me see if I got anything here. I, I can barely hear you guys okay? All right, man, I'll call you, text me in a second. All right, pulling up to Side Splitters for the Natalie Cuomo Show. Uh, funny enough, Side Splitters is a Tampa institution. I mean, this is like the place in Tampa to forgot. The, 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 the Ebor Improv is great, but Side Splitters has been here forever and ever and ever, and I've actually never been here. So, I'm <laughs> pretty stoked. I release you. All right, well, we didn't film anything inside, but I will tell you what, uh, and I made this joke earlier, but I'm just gonna make it again, and she was very nice to laugh at it, but I was like, oh my gosh, you're so funny for a girl. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Second time, yeah, yeah. That was so you don't have to, Yeah, you don't have to laugh the second That's time. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, great. Anyway, Natalie Cuomo, go follow her on Twitch. Absolutely amazing. Thanks for having us, it was phenomenal. <laughs> So I went outside to look at everybody's bike, and Shaylee's is the coolest. <laughs> it's not very hard. So. <laughs> I think you made that joke earlier. All right, good time. Speaking of anxiety, let's yell real loud and take off on motorcycles way too fast. Oh my gosh. Did you practice that at home in the mirror or what? <laughs> you were on home? All right, bud. I'll see you tonight. See you around. Okay, we'll see you there. Well, it ain't no Honda, is it? I haven't been to a comedy show in I don't know how long, and that was absolutely phenomenal. You do YouTube and Twitch, and Natalie's on YouTube and Twitch. She has a podcast. She uh, she streams on Twitch regularly, playing Nintendo content and stuff like that. And it's always so weird when you see somebody like that, and I'm so used to so many of my friends making online content, whether it be YouTube or Instagram or you know TikTok or Twitch or anything like that. Now, seeing one of them perform live and do stand-up live that was so freaking cool it was so different and it was such a departure from how i'm used to seeing people perform i, I don't know man i was really amazed i was blown away it was an amazing show by all means follow natalie on twitch because she makes great content there but if she's coming to your town buy the ticket because that was great you are released graceful as a swan all right, it's absolutely the next day. We're at the Rats and Wrath Market. If you missed this one, I don't know what you were thinking. It was hot out, it's gorgeous now. It was gonna rain, now it's absolutely beautiful. And you guys missed a bunch of absolutely amazing people, of course. The one, the only, the absolutely gorgeous. Miss Dateways, Lady Daisy Chains, let's say Miss Daisy Chains. <laughs> Lady Daisy Chains. Let me tell you what, you guys have seen her before on this. She has a website, so uh, this stuff sells out. So don't even think that, because she makes all this stuff herself. So if you think you can just get this whenever you want, think again. And uh, out of everybody here, and I'm not trying to talk shit about anybody else, because I love everybody here. Out of everybody here, this is like the most biker friendly stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> of course. You just gotta tell me what to do. Oh, t oh baby, are you kidding me? Tell me what to do. You're speaking my language now all right listen up i said if you missed the market you missed out you can go you can fall halloween queen yeah, here i don't have my sign because i'm an idiot and forgotten wow you're an idiot too yeah oh my gosh hell yeah we got that in common let me tell you Aww. izzy over here <laughs> talk about an absolute heartbreaker i saw them from across the room and i said listen up <laughs> whatever i have left you can have times two i'll put it on credit I still haven't gotten my shoes yet, though. Call down. <laughs> Make sure you go support Izzy on Instagram right here. I'll have all the links down below. Listen up. I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> Someone else who's fallen into the trap, okay? Snake eyes over here. <laughs> That's someone who gets whatever they want. Something I always see from across the room. Are you kidding me? Foot stuff? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're still, how do you still have the shrimp oh, one? No, I know. No, that's not happening. I'm buying it right now. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, it's all to me. No, the shrimp one, it was here 
last time? I was like, no, I want it. No. I'm taking the shrimp, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, bidding game. Let's go. When is seeing the shrimp being The shrimp, know. dude. It was here last time. I wanted it so bad. This is my answer. <laughs> I, <love> it. <laughs> I can't believe nobody bought it. I was like, oh, someone for sure is going to buy it. Foot stuff rugs. Let me tell you what. They're wor Everyone's worried about the gay agenda. They're like, we're turning all our kids gay. I can't believe the gay agenda, which you should really be worried about, is all shade tree surgeon and the foot agenda. <laughs> Giving the youth of, youth of America a foot fetish one girl at a time, all right? <laughs> this is the real danger. Oh, last time I swear. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the next day. <laughs> As always, the rats and wrath market. <laughs> I mean, it is a market, but damn, it freaking gets out of control. We had an absolutely amazing time. Ended up meeting up with Cammy Bay later and hanging out with her. And uh, the night. <laughs> the night got wild enough that the cameras definitely got put away. I'll tell you this though, I'm pretty sure that Blissful Ellie, and even if all I had to go by was uh, judging by that smile that she had on camera, I'd already say she was a convert, but I'm on my way to go pick her up right now from her Airbnb because she texted me this morning and said, I can't wait to get back on the back of the bike again. So will you come pick me up ASAP and let's ride, baby. And let me tell you boys what, when a long tall swan like that rings your bell and calls your number and says, hey Shade Tree, why don't you set me on the back of that crusty old gold wing? Boy, you hup too, cause the answer is yes. And uh, it's yes real quick. <laughs> well, Ellie, I'll see you here in a few minutes. And as for everybody watching right now, make sure you go follow her on Instagram, show her some love. Follow me on Instagram too. Leave a like on the video, leave me a comment down below and uh, welcome another one into the fold. She's having so much fun on the back of the bike stands to reason it won't be too much longer before she's in the driver's seat herself so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that until next time y'all keep it weird sunshine lollipops and green booze everything that's wonderful is what I feel and we're 